Hello everybody, got another Bible review for you guys. This is the Starting Place Study Bible from our friends at Zondervan. They sent me this Bible as a gift for a review, and I'm also giving this Bible away in uh, the Everything Bibles Facebook group. This is actually our MVP award Bible from Zondervan. So let me tell you a little bit about this, uh, this Bible, the Starting Place Study Bible in the NIV. All right, so really quickly, uh, if you go to a, a seafood restaurant and, you know, some folks like lobster, some folks like shrimp, some folks like this or that, but if you're not really sure what you'll like, uh, most people will recommend that you get the seafood platter. It comes with a little bit of everything. Well, that's kind of what the Starting Place Study Bible is. If you're not if you're not absolutely sure uh, that you know exactly what type of studying you like or what you like to focus on when you study, uh, this Bible gives you uh, some of the best parts of several study Bibles rolled into one. So let's look at it. This is the hardback edition, and uh, I'm going to open her up. It has this uh, this little dusk jacket there you can see the spine there it's really attractive but i do like the uh the the styling with the dust jacket so it is the uh hardcover with the paper paste down of course you do have a presentation page there and title page and then you have your publication page after the second title page let's just take a look at it really quickly can see the name there the starting place study bible and it's produced by zondervan this is the uh 2019 printing and uh it is actually it shows in stock uh right now i think on christian book they're not shipping until april the 27th so they're they're really about half price right now i think 21 dollars 22 dollars I'll leave a link for purchase in the description and you can uh, check it out for yourself depending on when you see this. All right, so you have your table of contents and then I'll explain uh, how this Bible is designed, what it's about. All right, so here's the uh, starting place study Bible. Uh, you can see it has this kind of an explanation of the features. It has book introductions, which are very similar to the NIV Quest study Bible. It has study notes, and the study notes are adapted from the NIV Foundation Study Bible. See where I'm going. All these features come from different Bibles. Uh, your context notes, which is one of my favorite features, and I'll show you. They have little tabs and show you what type it is. Uh, they come from the NIV Archaeological Study Bible. Your Q&A notes, which these are really cool. I think you have 280-something question and answers and uh, these come from the quest study bible that's really cool you have 88 bible characters and uh, this comes from the niv student bible uh, so you can see it, it pulls a lot of great features out of several different bibles and then you have the uh, biblical truths from the niv rock solid faith study bible okay and and those look like uh, this right here. So let's open it up. You have a preface, and I'm going to zip through here to show you these features. Uh, it is the comfort print, and it's at about a nine-point font, double column. Uh, your notes are maybe an eight-point font. I haven't found the exact uh, the exact measurements for the uh, font, so I'm just estimating it's a nine-point font. So anyway, it's very readable. The more I read this NIV comfort print, the more I like it. Um, it took a little bit to grow on me, but uh, it is on decent paper. Not a ton of ghosting. I do like that they, they have boldened uh, headings in the notes section. The, the, there is this yellow, blue uh, kind of color, uh, color combinations that's pretty consistent throughout the, the Bible. So here, here's one of the cool things, the, the context notes. You have the, uh, the different little icons. So it seems like an app, honestly. It, it feels like, as you read this, 
it's like going through a blog or an app and you 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 see q a stuff here text notes and then you have the context notes and it shows you well what type of context is it is it uh people's lands or rules con uh, culture and history archaeology well this is about the ancient text so that's so it kind of gives you kind of a the area of uh contextualization so uh then you have your uh people profiles uh the character profiles of the as they call them and then your biblical truths which is really cool uh so there's there's a lot of great stuff in here uh but as far as the design it takes a lot of great features from several different bibles and it's packed full of great stuff uh so that's basically the it from end to end. You have a uh, pretty much a condensed uh, a condensed uh, book introduction. Uh, very nice. You have uh, great uh, maps and articles, little things like this, the archaeological stuff. Uh, there's all kind of cool stuff in here, but for the most part, it's those key elements: the uh, contextualization, the uh, Q and A, the Bible characters. Uh, th there's a lot of great stuff, uh, but it mostly surrounds those uh, those things. All right, so here's another uh, really cool. The context notes, uh, like it shows the ancient musical instruments and it shows culture and history uh, under that subheading. So it's just really cool uh, to be able to uh, when when you're going through these notes to see what category it fits in. Uh, really great stuff. I recommend this edition, uh, especially if you're not sure how you want to study, or if you're really new to studying with a study Bible, this edition will help you. Essentially, it fulfills its name. It'll give you a starting place. It'll give you some place to start. Uh, you'll find something in here uh, that really uh, that really hits home for you as far as how you connect with the scriptures. Uh, so anyway, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff. You see the harmony of the gospels and we get into the, uh, the epistles, the acts, uh, you have the gospels there. It is black letter, but you have a lot of great stuff. This is a cool little, uh, map, uh, showing the spread of the message, um, across the area in the first century. And uh, the book of Acts, you have all these great things, the biblical truths, Q&A, all that stuff. So anyway, let's get to the back and you can see the rest of this. After the, after Revelation, you get to the table of weights and measures, reading plan, there then you have a subject index there and this is super helpful really big uh so you you can search names and and whatever i mean it's it's great uh the subject index is really good helping you find uh places because a lot of people they might want to start an index and then uh work based on the subject now you have your dictionary slash concordance which i think's all concordances should be like this, have a dictionary definition along with the corresponding verses. Uh, that is super helpful, super helpful to have that combination. It's not very big, uh, but it's enough to, to give people a good help. Now, after the concordance, you have your note about the text, the comfort print text. I'm sorry, you have an index to the maps, small, and then you have a little note right here regarding the uh, type and uh, this is the NIV typeface uh, the NIV is different from the King James comfort print those are different from the new King James comfort print and they're also developing a an NASB comfort print for the upcoming uh, NASB editions from Zondervan as well so and these are produced by 2k Denmark uh, by Klaus and Heidi and uh, really, really impressive uh, stuff. And like I said, the more I read from this comfort print font, the more I like it. And then we have the Bible maps. 
Uh, they are on glossy cardstock, but this uh, this Bible is really nice. Uh, this is maps. This is why we have maps uh, for study. Uh, this is where maps should be in a, in a study Bible like this, a starting place study Bible. Now, granted, I wish they weren't on glossy cardstock ever, never, ever, but uh, they're really good maps. A lot of great color, inviting to look at. Uh, so for someone that's learning how to study or learning what type of study they like best, uh, having a lot of color and having the maps be attractive uh, is very helpful. So useful uh, little legends down here to show you what the lines mean. Anyway, good stuff. And then that, that's it. Uh, you get to the uh, the back of the uh, the little dust jacket. It talks about the NIV. And that's uh, that's the edition. Here's the uh, ISBN. And you see it retails for 35 Again, I'll post a link in the description uh, for purchase. And uh, you can check it out there. Anyway, that is the Starting Place Study Bible. Again, it's it's very similar to a, a buffet or a, a, a sampler platter of different types of study features from different study Bibles. Really good stuff, and uh, I'm I'm thankful to the folks at uh, Zondervan for sending me this edition to uh, review and give away. One thing I wish it had, I wish it had a... a a um, like another ribbon. It only has one ribbon, uh, but but I wish it had more. Anyway, um, it is sewn. It is a sewn binding. Let me open her up and show you. There, you see the different signatures there, the folds. Uh, so those are a few things that I'm sure everyone's uh, you know would ask if I didn't address it here. So anyway, that's the starting place study Bible. Hope you guys uh, go out and get it. Again, if you're purchasing from Christian Book, they will not ship until April 27th. Uh, but uh, I think on Amazon it says they're in stock, so I'll probably post a link there. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get updates and uh, make sure you have the little notification bell rung so you can uh, find out whenever I upload new videos and reviews. Thanks for watching. God bless.